I always uh, tell my students the way you make your project shoot to the moon is by writing it in Jupiter. Uh, professional people with PhDs on a mission to make great discoveries use an IDE called Jupiter, like they're doing a school assignment. Where is the Zen of Python? Yes, we use the notebooks for our students, but not for our production code. I mean, for production code, we also don't use Python. Or do we? Imagine somebody accidentally writes a Skynet in a Jupyter notebook. A Jupyter debugging in a spider. I Python. Jupyter is a pain. A pain. A pain. Of course, we only do our uh, research in Python. Our prediction model is then running in C. Back in the years, I thought AI was scary. Data science required a PhD and computer vision was magic. Now it's all just five lines of code in Python. What companies use it for data science? All of them. Nobody likes MATLAB or R or SAS. Let's not mention Julia. No, 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 this is um, not for recording. Intel, IBM, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Spotify, they all use Python in-house to predict trends of in-house coffee usage. What can I say? Automation, innovation, revolutionary pain. We don't use Jupyter, no, well, sometimes. You gotta show how your code works. Now I sound like a PhD, but don't worry. I'm only a data scientist for quantum physics operations. First import NumPy, then import uh, the rest. Keras, mol, ins, outs, and we create a Skynet. I always get confused when switching between MATLAB and Python. A one starts with a zero and one is a zero.